For those who are religious about baseball, attending a ball game at Yankee Stadium has been a spiritual event. For more than 80 years, baseball's faithful have come here to cheer their hearts out, accomplish their childhood dreams. Derek Jeter stands alone atop the Yankees' all-time hit list at Yankee Stadium. Sing with the choir. Let's go Yankees! And heal their very soul. They won this game for their team captain. They've witnessed a seemingly infinite amount of magical moments and miracles that have been offered at the Cathedral of Baseball. It started that first season at the stadium when on opening day, baseball's savior christened his house with a three-run home run during a four-to-one victory over Boston. Babe Ruth went on to end that year with a World Series win over the New York Giants, the rival team that had prompted the original construction of Yankee Stadium after the Giants organization kicked the outselling Yankees out of the polo grounds. George Herman Ruth would become known for two things in baseball, both of which he'd will to future Yankees teams. The first was a tradition of winning, and the second was a love of the long ball. In 1927, the Babe hit his 60th home run of the season at Yankee Stadium, and no one would beat that record until 1961, when Yankee Roger Maris hit his 61st into the same right field porch. Along with the Babe, there was the Iron Horse, who continued the Yankees' slugger tradition and injected a sense of pride into the organization when he played a consecutive 2,130 games. Lou Gehrig would even continue to play ball after he'd been diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a degenerative muscle disease that would become better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. When his body began to fail him, knowing that he didn't have long to live, Lou Gehrig gave a heart-wrenching speech at Yankee Stadium as his number became the first to be retired in Major League Baseball. Standing at home plate, he amazingly proclaimed his good fortune, a moment that has become iconic in American history. Today, today I consider I myself, myself the luckiest man, man on the face of the earth. Wouldn't you consider it privilege, privilege. to associate to yourself, yourself with such a fine looking man as a standing in uniform in this ballpark today. Garrick died just two years later at the age of 37. On the same spot, seven years later at 53 years old, Babe Ruth said his own goodbyes at the stadium when his number was retired. He was dying of throat cancer and had only two more months to live. With two such players as role models, Yankee Stadium would become the home of the greatest sports franchise in history, a team that would dominate several eras in baseball. Along with home runs and grand slams, Yankee Stadium has been the place to watch great moments on the mound. There have been several no-hitters. Pitches a no hitter. And there have even been a few perfect games. David Wells has pitched a perfect game. A perfect game for David Cohn. Including the only no hitter ever pitched in the World Series. In fact, Yankee Stadium has been the place for postseason miracles. Do you believe in miracles? playing host to more postseason games than any other ballpark in baseball history. Aaron Boone has hit a home run, and the Yankees are going to the World Series! Incredibly, the Diamond in the Bronx has hosted 37 of the 84 World Series played since the stadium opened in 1923, with the Yankees winning 26 of those series, 16 of which were clinched in the house that Ruth built. World Series events at Yankee Stadium have been truly momentous and historic. Oh, what a blow! In baseball, Yankee Stadium is a holy site with an altar that has seen blood, sacrifice, and redemption. This has been the place where stars have aligned, the place where baseball fans and players alike have come to congregate and worship because Yankee Stadium is the Cathedral of Baseball.